Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to create a simple decentralized exchange where your investors can buy and sell any tokens on Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum Chain or any other chain. And you will be charging fees for these uh, uh, trades without having to provide the liquidity so the way this works is the pancake swap or yoni swap or whatever uh, uh, exchange in any other networks will provide the liquidity for you you will simply charge the fees as you can see here i'm charging right now 0.1 percent fees and everyone can sell and buy tokens on my website and I don't provide any liquidity. This website uses the PancakeSwap router to provide liquidity for the users. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. This is how the website looks and we're going to see how to deploy the smart contract, integrate with the website and launch. So the first thing we do is we get the smart contract and go to remix.ethereum.org. So this is a smart contract and now we're going to set the first thing we do is we set the fee. Okay, so we have here at 778, we have the fee percent, which is at 0.25%, but we want it at 1%, 0.1%, sorry. Okay, after that, you don't have to change much, uh, simply compile, make sure to use the compiler version 0.8.7 after that you go to the deployer and make sure to select the contract uh, uh, the DAX contract after that we have here three wallets to set three addresses the first one is the fee address so it's the wallet that will be receiving the fees the second one is the Uniswap router. If you will be doing this on Ethereum chain, you add a Uniswap router instead. So it will work on, uh, it would work, will work with the Uniswap liquidity. And the third one is the wrapped BMB. Okay, we set the wrap BNB and then we can go ahead and deploy the smart contract. I'm not going to deploy this one as I have already did. It costs about $5 and uh, right after you deploy your smart contract, you need to verify it. I've made a lot of videos how to verify a smart contract, so you should uh, do that easy. And after you deploy your smart contract, there's a few things you need to do on the contract uh, section. So the first thing you need to do is you connect your uh, owner wallet and you need to whitelist tokens. Now why we need to whitelist tokens? Uh, the tokens that are on the exchange, they cannot be sold or bought if you don't whitelist them first. This is done to protect your investors. You can protect your community from buying uh, rock pools or scam tokens. So they will be able to buy and sell on your exchange only tokens you have approved. And uh, this can also work uh, if your website gets popular, you can start charging projects 
to feature them on your website so people can purchase them. So what you do here is you whitelist tokens. You can whitelist them one by one or you can whitelist multiple addresses at the same time by typing uh, an address address so you put the addresses and a comma in uh, between them and then at the last address you close again then click right and you will have uh, the tokens whitelisted and people will be able to buy then we have here the fee you can uh, change the fee account and the fee percent as well as the routers if you decide because you can also decide to not use uh, PancakeSwap router like PancakeSwap liquidity you can use a different uh, uh, DEX router for the liquidity so you can change it anytime we have the transfer ownership and that's it now uh, the next thing we do is we integrate the smart contract with the website and we do that by opening the website folder on the Visual Studio Code and we go to the index.js now as you can see here we have the swap address which is the first one here and this is what we want to change we replace this with our contract address that we deployed after that we have the tokens available on the website to swap as you can see here uh, there is only a few tokens available on the website to swap as you can see here but you can add even more simply by adding their contract addresses here the easiest way uh, to add a smart contract is to do this this is the start of the of adding a token and this is the end you simply copy paste this let me show you you copy you paste and you edit the information the address the id the image and everything after that after you added uh, any tokens you want to add extra of course you can add your token as well if you have a project uh, make sure to click save all and simply upload your files to your uh, host now we're going to see and test our website how it works okay uh, first connect wallet after that let me see if we have any token i think i have some cake and we want to swap cake for uh, busd i'm going to do 0 0.1 so we can see the fees uh, calculate the fees easier to see how much fee it charged click confirm and let's see You can also add to MetaMask. You have successfully swapped tokens. Thank you. You can also uh, add any tokens to MetaMask. It's automated. You simply click the MetaMask uh, logo here and you add tokens to MetaMask. Let's see how much fee did it charge us. okay so looks like the fee is exact we swap 0.1 and it took 0. 
1% uh, fee and it's sent to our uh, it's sent to our fee account so, so this is it guys this is how it works and let me know if you need this uh, exchange make sure to reach out to me so we can get this working and thank you for watching